The Second World War came to the doorsteps of millions of people, and many people had their homes destroyed and were thrust into the heart of the deadliest conflict that history has ever seen. Lots of people took up arms to fight against their enemies, and many lost their lives for their countries. Women in the Soviet Union even took up arms, and many became snipers and had large kill counts. But in some countries, only the fittest and most able men were able to serve on the front lines. As the war turned against Hitler, in the final days of the conflict, many Germans were conscripted into the Volkssturm, the People's Army, made up to try and defend key cities such as Berlin, with anything they could find. But there was one Soviet man, who must have been one of the oldest men to have been killed on the battlefield, as at the age of 83, Matvey Kuzmin, was killed by a German officer. But what is his incredible story? Join us today as we look at the 85-year-old peasant that died fighting against the Germans. And remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Matvey Kuzmin was born in 1858 inside of the village of Kurakino in Pieskoblask. Throughout his life he was a self-employed farmer who refused to join the collective farming schemes. He lived a very simple life and lived with his grandson and the pair would hunt and fish on their land. But when the Second World War broke out, Kuzmin's life would be turned upside down. Initially it did not look like the Soviets and the Nazis would go to war as they signed a number of political and economic pacts and they carved up Poland between each other. There was also a ceasefire agreement in place which was meant to guarantee peace between the two nations. But this would be ended, as on the 22nd of July 1941, Hitler's army rampaged throughout the Soviet Union. The plan for Operation Barbarossa had been in place for almost a year, and it was the largest invasion in the history of warfare, with over 4 million Axis soldiers storming across the Soviet Union, across almost a 3,000 km front. They used 600,000 motor vehicles, 600,000 horses, tanks, aircraft and other vehicles, and wreaked havoc in the area. It opened up the Eastern Front, which became the deadliest theatre of war in history, and some of the largest battles in history with the most casualties and deaths occurred there. Following the seizure of territory by the Wehrmacht, Nazi death squads known as the Einsatzgruppen would round up civilian populations and massacre them on huge scales. Barbarossa would initially take the Soviets by surprise, and to begin with they lost thousands of soldiers, and with this turned to anyone to almost join the Red Army. Kuzmin's home region was occupied by the Nazis during the Second World War, and in February 1942 he was forced to help the enemy, and house a German battalion on his farm in the village of Kurakino. The German unit he had to house was then ordered to break through the Soviet defences in the area nearby, and they were to advance towards Soviet troops who had dug in at the Malkino Heights. On the 13th of February 1942, the German commander then spoke to the 83-year-old Matvey Kuzmin and asked him, as he knew the area, to guide the German soldiers towards the Soviet troops. Kuzmin was offered money, flour, a hunting rifle and also kerosene to do this, and he did agree. But after consulting with the German forces further, he learned the route that the soldiers would take, and he then dispatched his grandson, Vasily, to warn the Red Army soldiers about the route the Germans would take. After this, the Soviet soldiers then planned an ambush near to the village of Malkino. So Kuzmin had defied the German soldiers, which was very dangerous, and it was likely he'd been shot if he had been found out. But under the cover of darkness and during the night, Kuzmin led the German units throughout a number of paths, and he arrived with them on the outskirts of Malkino at dawn. When the German soldiers were there, they were unprepared, were not ready believing the Soviets were further away. But suddenly the village defenders and the 2nd Battalion of the 31st Cadet Rifle Brigade of the Kalinian Front attacked heavy. Machine gun fire littered the air and there was very intense fighting. The German battalion was suffering and lost around 50 of their soldiers and they also had 20 captured by the Red Army. But one German officer realised that Matvey Kuzmin had betrayed the Germans and had planned the ambush with the Soviets. With this, a German officer then pulled out his pistol towards Kuzmin, aimed and shot him twice, with Kuzmin dying in the battle and the firefight. His actions were seen as sabotage by the Germans, but for the Soviets, he had informed those defenders what would have happened, and he helped them to protect their land. The Germans, as mentioned, did suffer heavy casualties, but three days after the battle, 
Kuzmin's body was collected from the battlefield and he was buried with full military honours, despite simply being an 83-year-old peasant farmer who tried to help his country gain the advantage during World War II. After his death, Pravda printed an article on him, and the Soviet Union learned of his bravery. A children's story was written about him, and this is still studied today in Russian schools. He was compared with other heroic figures, and he was then after his death declared a hero of the Soviet Union, which was the highest accolade any Soviet person could receive. Statues were made for him, and streets were named after him. But Matvey Kuzmin is remembered today for being an 83-year-old man who took up arms on the battlefield. He did not really have a place in the war, and did not have to do what he did. He would have hated having to house the German soldiers on his lands, but he decided to stay loyal to the Soviet Union. When he was asked by the Germans to guide them towards the enemy, it's likely he did not have an option, but he was ultimately executed by a German officer who knew that he had tipped off the Soviet soldiers before to plan an ambush. He is remembered today as the 83-year-old peasant who deceived the Germans and fell on the battlefield of the Eastern Front. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.